Okay, here's my pan, a fully cooked dog treat. And that's one of the reasons I spray my pan, is so that I can just take it like this and pull out my sheet as one piece. Hold it. There we go. Now here's my dog biscuit in one sheet. It's roughly about three quarters of an inch to an inch thick after it's baked. And what I do at this point is I want to cut them into small squares about this size. Now they're cut into one inch sizes and it allows me to take a Kong. I hope you've all seen Kongs at the dog store so that you could buy something for your dog because they just go crazy on this. I have a, a 10 week old puppy that carries this around and eats his treats and I have a 10 year old 100 pound dog that does the same thing except I got him a bigger Kong and I really make him go at it and chew on it. So anyways I take my one inch squares and I take it and put it into the hole and as long as it can go in past the hole my dogs will, are able to extract the dog treat but it's still tight enough in here that it makes them work at it. it gives, them some, uh, gives them exercise. Excuse me we have a talker and uh, I'll uh, just pop it inside like this, and I pop about four of them in there. And then I let my dogs go crazy on them. They just love, they just love my dogs. And obviously I have somebody that's waiting for me. I can hear in the background that's telling me right now that that little girl wants her dog treats, and she wants them now. So anyways, by cutting those up into one inch squares, doing one slab like this, um, I end up with about, um, I would say somewhere between three to five dozen per slab. And that will last uh, us for about two weeks in dog treats. I might over, uh, I might overfeed my dogs, I'm sorry to say. Uh, but I just love to give them dog treats every night. It uh, gives them something to chew on at about seven, eight o'clock range at night where they uh, get their mouth exercised and then after they've eaten three or four treats they actually sleep the rest of the night really sad and no more waking up in the middle of the night. So anyways that's how I make my dog treats and hopefully something like this that turns into something like, like this that turns into a really happy dog and it's all natural, it's all healthy, no preservatives, your dog will love you for it. So thank you once again. I hope this was informative and have a nice day.